This video is sponsored by PageProof. Hi, I'm Steve Kaplan for Creative Pro, and we're going to look at the new Harmonize tool inside Photoshop. Here's a tricky scene to work with. It's got the light coming in through the windows on the right, and the left is in shadow. So let's add a chair. And clearly it doesn't look like it belongs here. We can add a layer mask, tuck it behind the table leg, but it still doesn't feel right. If we select the chair, we can bring in the taskbar, and let's press the Harmonize button. And now Photoshop will go through the process of examining the background, looking both at the overall tone and colour, but also looking at the direction the lighting is coming from in this scene. And it's going to attempt to light the chair to match that background. Now it takes a few seconds to do this, but it's going to give us three variations. And here they are. One, two, three. That's too pale. I like this version, which has given us a highlight on this side of the chair and the left side in shadow, and it looks much more like it belongs in this scene. Let's add a man sitting on the chair. There he is. Again, I've added a layer mask. He looks more like he's sitting in the chair at that table but he's evenly lit from the front. Let's see what the Harmonize tool can do. Now it can take a while, so let's skip ahead to the end. And that's really quite impressive. We can see the light shining on the right side of his face, the left of his body is in shadow, and look at the way the light catches his arm with its face in the window. Again, there's three variations. Let's go for the last one. It's a little too dark, so let's make a Curves Adjustment layer, and we'll clip that so it only affects this layer, and let's brighten them up. And that's better. Next, let's put some books on the table. And once again, we'll select the layer and choose Harmonize. Once again, there are three variations. I'm going to go for the final one. Let's zoom in and see what it's done. In the original image, there's a reflection of the plant pot on the table. Our original books don't cover that up. When we harmonize it, not only has it shaded the books, notice how they're in shadow on the left but lit from the right, it's also obscured the reflection of that pot and it's even added a reflection of the books onto that table because it recognizes that it's a shiny surface. Let's try adding a woman into this scene. Now this is a tricky one. She's very much lit from the right. You can see the light on the right side of her face and the left of her face is in shadow. Let's press harmonize and see what happens. And once again, there are three variations. That's too pale. That hasn't made enough of a change. But look at this first one. It has lit her from the window side. Let's zoom in. And not only that, it's adjusted the lighting on her face. Here's the original. The left side of her face is in shadow. The light's coming from the right. When we harmonize it, Photoshop has recognized and understood the contours of her face and it's applied the lighting in the right way. There's bright lighting on the side facing the window and it's dark on the other side. If we scroll down, we can see it's also applied light highlights to the side of her body. It's even looked inside this very dark area and interpreted the shape of her body that we couldn't see on the original and added the highlights accordingly. It's a little dark, so once again we can add a curves adjustment 
and let's just brighten that up slightly and use the previous layer as a clipping mask. Now the harmonize tool can do an awful lot but it can't do everything and we'll see that in action when we add a train into this scene. Let's zoom in and we'll use the harmonize tool and see what it can do to make this train try and match the ambient lighting of the background of the scene. And well it has matched it it's even given a slight reflection in the surface of the table. But the angle of the train is completely wrong. The perspective doesn't match the background. So while Harmonize is able to adjust light and shade, and it's even managing to cast shadows on other objects in the scene and able even to produce reflections, what it can't do is to correct perspective to match a scene. Let's hide those. I'm going to make a new layer comp with the scene as it is now and now I'll turn off all of the extra harmonized layers so we can see the originals and compare them. So this is the scene with the elements that we added without any harmonization. And they don't make a convincing image. They don't look like they belong in this room. When we add the harmonized layers back in, we now get the sense that all of these elements, the people, the books, the chair, all belong in this scene. So the harmonize tool gives you a very quick and easy way to make a lot of disparate objects look like they belong in your montage. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.